Hello, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I want to talk to you about something today that I have no doubt will be a wildly unpopular opinion. I was reading an article about The Guardian. There's a new thing that's trending right now, and that is that a prior Nazi who was a security guard at uh, allegedly multiple Jewish concentration camps, trained by the SS, etc., has been uh, finally, according to the article, deported from America, now being 95 years old. Allegedly, actually, his citizenship was revoked 14 years ago, but no country would take him in, and Trump has been pushing to get this Nazi out. Um, you know, on the surface, all is well and good. Uh, he lied when he came in, said that he was a farmer. Uh, actually, that might not necessarily have been a lie because, and a factory worker because who's not a farmer and a factory worker in the 30s and 40s? But uh, I actually have a problem with this, and you're going to have to bear with me here for a moment as I explain this. He was a U.S. citizen... Uh, he was only in Germany one time after the war. He was basically in a German refugee camp, essentially, with nowhere to go before being shipped to the U.S. And he's not being prosecuted. He's going to Würzburg, where I, uh, by where I used to live. And uh, he's going to an old folks' home. He's not getting any prosecution over there. Uh, because nobody can prove that he did any crimes. No murders. There's zero proof that he did anything except for be a soldier. Now, there is no excuse to commit war crimes as a soldier. And there's no excuse to do something that's wrong because you're told to do it. But as a U.S. citizen, he had rights. And if in-depth investigation can't find that he ever committed a crime... How can he lose his U.S. citizenship and be deported? Uh, he came to the United States in 1957. It is now 2018. So this man came to the United States and I would uh, assume has worked an entire lifetime here, raised a family here, and probably paid more in taxes here and gave more to the nation here than... I don't know, at least 50% of the U.S. population. Now, uh, if he came here in 1957 and they found out in 1958 that he lied on his papers or withheld some evidence, that might be different. But I can't help but think that once you become an American citizen and you've been an American citizen for over 60 years... Right? You have rights as an American, not as a German. You cannot lose your citizenship without evidence. There has to be due process, which there was not. And now they're taking an ailing 95-year-old man to live in, somewhat, in some other country, in some other old folks' home. Why? So you can... reflect some kind of good values or something. The reality of it is this is really a, a rights issue. And I'm in no way pro-Nazi. In fact, I'm just as anti-Nazi as I am anti-communist because in reality they're the same thing. Uh, the This article in The Guardian goes on to talk about how the dangers of the National Socialist Party. Well, guess what? We have the National Socialist Party here in the U.S., and all of these people hate to claim, who claim to hate Nazis are National Socialists. You're Nazis. The entire Democrat Party is Nazis, and they're about a step away from being communists at this point. The only thing that it takes to go from being a National Socialist to a communist is to outright flip the ownership of private business from being private to state-owned. But under National Socialism, your private business is 
massively suppressed small businesses essentially crushed under taxation and legislation. Weird. I don't know where on earth uh, that happens um, more than here in America. So we are virtue signaling our our pride in deporting someone who's a Nazi without evidence of him committing crimes because of the name Nazi. The problem being that our entire current political system is socialist, is equivalent to the Nazi political system. Now, some people would say that we're equally guilty of war crimes or whatever. It's a bunch of hoofla. But uh, what what if the political system changed and uh, at 97 years old, I, who have committed no war crimes, am deported uh, without due process? This is a human rights issue, and people are too emotional to look at for what it is. Uh, It's crazy. You've got conservatives uh, all hurrahing Trump. You've got Democrats hurrahing Trump. And this has been some kind of action uh, that is emotionally uh, fueled. And uh, it's wrong. Now, of course, if they found any evidence of war crimes, then freaking hang him at 95 years old. Who cares? Deport him to a freaking leprosy island to die. Who cares? But that's not the case. You can't take a U.S. citizen without due process. Hmm. Pretty jacked up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm sure I'll get lots of just wonderful comments. I look forward to it. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.